Hi everyone. HMS Victory, a symbol of British naval dominance, has sailed far beyond the seas and into the heart of popular culture. From iconic literature to epic films, this legendary warship has become a cultural touchstone, representing heroism, naval strategy, and maritime heritage. But how did this 18th century vessel capture the imagination of so many across generations? Let's explore how HMS Victory's legacy has made its way into the stories we tell today. HMS Victory has made a lasting impression in the world of literature, serving not only as a backdrop but often as a central figure in both historical and fictional narratives. From early naval adventure novels to modern works of historical fiction, the ship's iconic status has inspired authors for generations, particularly in stories set during the Napoleonic Wars. The ship's pivotal role in the Battle of Trafalgar under the command of Admiral Nelson has made it a symbol of heroism, naval mastery, and British maritime tradition. This status has woven victory into the fabric of naval literature, where it often stands as a representation of the triumphs and trials of life at sea. One of the earliest literary references to HMS Victory appears in C.S. Forrester's Horatio Hornblower series, which follows the career of a fictional Royal Navy officer during the Napoleonic Wars. Although Victory does not take center stage in the narrative, its presence is felt as a constant reminder of the grandeur of the British fleet. It is often mentioned as the flagship during key naval operations, giving readers a sense of the ship's monumental importance to the Royal Navy and the role it played in shaping naval warfare during this era. Victory's influence in literature goes beyond just its mention in passing. In Patrick O'Brien's beloved Aubrey Mater in series, which spans over 20 novels, HMS Victory plays a more prominent role. The ship is often referenced as the gold standard of naval achievement, especially in relation to Admiral Nelson's tactical genius. O'Brien's work, set in the same historical context as the Hornblower series, draws heavily from real-life naval events, making the victory a natural part of the narrative. The ship represents a benchmark of leadership and naval prowess, its name invoking a sense of discipline and valor that defined Britain's dominance at sea. In addition to naval fiction, HMS Victory has also appeared in historical biographies and non-fiction works about the Napoleonic Wars. In these accounts, the ship is often featured as a key figure in Admiral Nelson's career, particularly during the Battle of Trafalgar. Nelson, A Personal History by Christopher Hibbert and The Trafalgar Companion by Mark Adkin both delve into the ship's design, strategic significance, and Nelson's command from its deck. These works give readers a detailed view of the ship's physical attributes, while also placing it within the larger context of European history, making it more than just a character but a historical artifact that shaped the course of war. Ultimately, HMS Victory in literature is not merely a static symbol of British naval power, but a dynamic figure that continues to inspire. Whether serving as a reference point in the naval adventures of fictional heroes or as the setting for historical moments of courage and leadership, HMS Victory's legacy endures through the written word, ensuring that its story is told and retold for generations. HMS Victory, a vessel steeped in maritime history, has not only influenced real-world naval tactics but has also made a significant impact on film and television. Its iconic status has inspired filmmakers, advertisers, and even science fiction creators. Let's explore some fascinating examples of how HMS Victory has been represented and referenced in popular culture. In the 2003 Disney film Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, HMS Victory's influence is apparent in the design of the fictional Royal Navy ship HMS Dauntless. 
The filmmakers drew from the victory's grandeur to craft a visually impressive and historically evocative ship for their swashbuckling adventure. HMS Dauntless, with its imposing masts and detailed rigging, mirrors the aesthetic qualities of victory, capturing the essence of an 18th century naval powerhouse. This creative homage highlights victory's enduring legacy as a symbol of naval might and design excellence. For the 2003 film Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World, the production team undertook meticulous research to authentically depict life aboard a sailing Navy-era ship. Although HMS Victory itself was not used in the film, its influence was felt deeply. The film's creators collaborated with maritime historians and curators to ensure that the portrayal of daily life on board closely mirrored the experiences of sailors during the Napoleonic Wars. The attention to detail in replicating the ship's design and operational procedures reflects the high regard in which victory and its historical context are held, underscoring its role as a benchmark for authenticity in naval cinema. In the biopic Napoleon, 2022, HMS Victory's great cabin was utilized as a stand-in for HMS Bellerophon. In a fictitious scene set during a hypothetical meeting between Napoleon Bonaparte and the Duke of Wellington, Victory's opulent great cabin stood in for the meeting location when Bellerophon was anchored off the UK. This clever use of Victory's interiors not only provided a fitting historical ambience but also highlighted the ship's architectural splendor, even when repurposed for cinematic storytelling. In a striking coincidence, Lloyd's Bank featured HMS Victory in their 2017 by your side advertisement. The ad showcased the famous black horse running alongside Victory, creating a visually captivating juxtaposition of British heritage and modern finance. The choice of HMS Victory is especially poignant given that Lloyd's Bank was founded just a month after the ship's launch in 1765. This connection underscores the enduring legacy of Victory, linking it with significant aspects of British history beyond the naval sphere. The ongoing restoration of HMS Victory has drawn an amusing comparison to the fictional Trigger's broom from the British sitcom Only Fools and Horses. In the show, Trigger humorously describes his broom, which has had its head and handle replaced over time, as still being the same broom. Similarly, Victory's restoration, which has seen most of its original structure replaced, evokes the ship of Theseus Paradox, a philosophical thought experiment about identity and change. This light-hearted comparison highlights the paradoxical nature of preserving historical ships while updating their structure, resonating with both maritime enthusiasts and television audiences. In the episode Elementary, Dear Data from Star Trek, The Next Generation, Lieutenant Geordi Laforge presents a model of HMS Victory to Captain Jean-Luc Picard and Lieutenant Commander Data. This reference brings HMS Victory into the realm of science fiction, where the ship's historical significance is acknowledged in the futuristic setting of the Starship Enterprise. The model serves as a tribute to Victory's enduring influence and its representation as an emblem of naval tradition, even in the 24th century. In the realm of video games, HMS Victory has played a prominent role in naval strategy titles. For instance, in Empire, Total War, players can command the victory as part of their British fleet, engaging in large-scale naval battles set during the Age of Sail. The ship is accurately depicted, and players can even take part in the Battle of Trafalgar, where the victory leads the British forces to victory. Another example is Assassin's Creed III, where a model of HMS Victory appears as a tribute to its significance in naval history. Artists and model makers have long been captivated by the beauty and complexity of HMS Victory. One famous painting, 
The Death of Nelson by Daniel MacLeese, features a dramatic depiction of Nelson's final moments aboard the Victory. In addition, scale models of the ship are popular among collectors and museums. The National Maritime Museum in Greenwich has one of the finest detailed models of HMS Victory, allowing visitors to appreciate its design and craftsmanship. These models have even appeared in films and exhibitions, offering a tangible connection to the ship's storied past. The British rock band Iron Maiden famously used the image of HMS Victory in the backdrop of their live performances during their 2006 A Matter of Life and Death tour. The ship represents British strength and resilience, fitting perfectly with the band's themes of history and warfare. From literature and film to video games and art, HMS Victory continues to capture the imagination of people around the world. Its portrayal in popular culture serves as a reminder of the ship's historical significance, while also introducing new generations to its legendary status. As HMS Victory sails on in our cultural consciousness, it remains an enduring symbol of bravery, strategy, and naval mastery. Thanks for watching.